can't see it. This looks like a super straight entry. That's a pretty good start. One rhythm loss there in the middle, you can see there, and then fading at the end, but some potential in the uh, in the middle. Decent entry marks, a nice show. Angle's getting a little bit steep sometimes in the shoulder. And now she needs to keep the shoulders to the left, push the hind legs to the right, just to that's better. <laughs> She's listening. Just needs to get that parallel finish, so it does go all the way. She's hanging a little bit out to the right there. She needs to just keep her weight to the left. The horse is very keen to use its hind legs. You know, she doesn't need to motivate it too much. She just needs to um, get the front end in the right place there to give her the room. What a lovely picture she is. Um, On the short sides there, you get a nice uphill impression. And a good departure there in the half parts left. Just maintain it the whole way. So here the walk to the halt. Again, you know, the horse needs to just stand still even if it's for you know that square moment which is not on the bit there and not square it's a little bit nervous i think it's possibly hearing the hounds from what mm. i'm hearing well there's some dogs barking somewhere and uh, if it's uh, coming from veer phillips presumably it will be well hunted yeah. Managing to, to keep the walk, though. I mean, you can see the overtrack here is not the mm. biggest, and um, she's not letting the neck out nowhere near enough, but I think possibly that's just because she can feel the tension, so I think rather than let it too far out, keeping it more under control. You know, some horses need to be that little bit rounder just to, to, to help keep the tension out of their bodies and then when they are soft then you see some of the riders here really pushing them uphill and they're able to because the horse is relaxed and then occasionally like you see if they're just in the canter she's just taking the neck a little bit lower just to help her just with the softness not too deep that it drops behind the bridle but rounder that it's a little bit more relaxed that was a clean but tight change you always have to, if you see here, I mean, just to help you understand when, how to do a flying change, when the, when the feet come to the floor, you have that rhythm of one, two, three, and that is the point when the feet are on the floor that you ask with your leg for the flying change because that enables the horse then to come up in the air, change its legs in the air, land on the other side. So you'll see it again in a minute when she comes to do her next flying change. And that's how we can tell sometimes, you know, the riders get their timing slightly wrong because they might ask when the horse is already in the air and then that confuses it and it has to come back down and go back up. So it says the front feet, always think of it like that, as they come to the floor that would be the point that you would ask so the horse can come back up and make that change. One, two, three, there you go. The timing was good and the change was better. And again here it might help you a little bit just to see it in the straight line. One, two, three, that rhythm there again. So her right leg has to ask across the centre line. Yeah. Good change. The horse looks very um, attentive to her leg aids. Mm, that was sneaky <laughs> because I don't think she even, even managed to get a leg on to ask no. for that. The horse was like, I think we'll just go to the other side. And uh, very cleverly, she sat still and made it look like perhaps she'd asked for it. Very tight.
tidy test and uh, promising horse. Clear Phillips on lead the way. Completes. And Clear Phillips, 43 year old from Loughborough in Leicestershire. And she will, with now three more to go. And um, the reason that Pammy's disappeared is she was doing some last minute coaching. Yeah, she helped. Daisy She's Barkley. Come to help Daisy. Daisy Barkley was Daisy Dick. Mm. And. Um, uh, moved down to Gloucester now. She moved into the castle. She did, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I remember going around yes. seeing that, being as a child, seeing that dungeon at Barclay Castle and having nightmares did for you? years on years I've on. I've been it. watching Barclay, uh, the Barclay Estate on Horse and Country TV, actually. Uh, it's a fascinating place. I can't mm. believe how lucky Daisy is to be living there. Well, it's great. I was